Clint Capella here and you got Joel Embiid. I got to get low and I got to battle right when he crosses the three-point line. I have to initiate the contact. Look at Capella standing straight up. You're letting Embiid get in the paint and he's initiating the contact. You're sealed too. This is going to happen about a million times in this game. I don't know what the Hawks do in practice. Bogdanovich does a great job. He goes under, over, off the stagger screen. But Clint Capella, you got to show so De'Anthony Melton can't curl. Bogdanovich does his job. But look at this. De'Anthony Melton just curls right off of this. So now Melton's in the lane. There's no one to box out. In transition, if I'm DeJounte Murray, I want to get up right to the three-point line. I'm in the gaps on the ball right now, but now I can actually guard Tyrese Maxey. Like, look at this. You backpedal towards the free throw line. Look at all this space you have to get over the screen. I should easily be able to get over the top, but you are standing in the middle of nowhere. So now Maxey... It's the same thing. This is unbelievable. What do the Hawks do in practice? It's another down screen. Clint Capella's got to show so DeAnthony Melton can't curl. You don't show DeAnthony Melton curls. He's in the lane, collapse everyone. No one to box out again. It's the same thing. God, is Quinn Snyder a disaster. He's never won anything. Maybe because there's no attention to detail. Onyeka Kongu, it's a down screen. Again, I must show. So Tyrese Maxey can't curl. You don't do it. Maxey curls. That leaves him beat open. And it's jumper. Look at how awful this ball screen defense is. This is, this is why Quinn Snyder never wins anywhere. He's awful. He's garbage. Shouldn't be coaching basketball at any level. Onyeka Kongu can easily get up and hedge. The sideline is literally right there. There's no place for Paul Reed to roll to. Patty Mills is in backside help. He's not going to have to stay in backside help long. The sideline's right there. But nope, let's run drop coverage. Let me show you how many Sixers players are wide open on this play. Look at this garbage defense. Marcus Morris is wide open right here. And Beverly, oh, we just ran a layup line for him too. In transition, you just have Hawks players getting back to the middle of nowhere. If I'm Sadiq Bey, I'm sprinting back right to the three-point line. So I'm ready to guard, right? Look at Sadiq Bey. Just trotting around back to the middle of nowhere. So now Tyrese Max is just going to catch and shoot. This is a terrible switch. If you're DeJounte Murray, I got to get underneath Paul Reed on the switch, okay? And then Wes Matthews can get up, and now there's help in the middle of the floor. I'm right there in that gap. Look at DeJounte Murray switching over the top. So instead of me having be able to force Tyrese Max to help, there is no help. So now Wes Matthews gets cooked, draw help. I mean, this is what a poorly coached team looks like. And Quinn Snyder is terrible. He's awful. You go into the game. Every time DeJounte Murray and DeAndre Hunter are involved in a ball screen, we're switching. That's it. I can't talk. I can't think about switches. It's auto switch. Instead, you're thinking, so DeJounte Murray goes over the top. DeAndre Hunter switches. There's no one on to Tobias Harris. I don't know what DeJounte Murray's doing here. Why can't you just go back to the three-point line and be in the gaps and be ready to guard? Why do you have to make the worst gamble ever? Like, pfft. What was that? This is why Quinn Snyder's never won anything anywhere, and the Hawks are terrible again, and they're not going anywhere, and Quinn Snyder will be fired again. Look at this ball screen defense. I can switch this screen. Clint Capella can get up and guard Tobias Harris. DeAndre Hunter's okay on Joel Embiid. He's going to get low. He's going to battle him out from the three-point line. All right, Clint Capella can get up because DeJounte Murray's right there in the gaps. Instead, you run this garbage drop coverage. It's not fair to Bogdanovich. What is he supposed to do? Do I stay with Kelly Oubre and leave Joel Embiid wide open? Or do I step up on Embiid and leave Oubre? So who's going to score here? If you're Clint Capella, there is no reason to be backpedaling on Joel Embiid right here. First of all, because when you backpedal on Joel Embiid, you just give him a runway to get in the paint. But Sadiq Bey and Bogdanovich are coming all the way over here to help you. So just get up and guard. Look at this. Why are you backpedaling? Look at the, look at the help here. There's, what are you doing? Clint Capella is getting back to the middle of nowhere here. Let's sprint back. Let's get to the three-point line. We're going to have our back to the baseline. We're going to see ball and man who we're taking, which is Tobias Harris. Look at C Clint Capella trotting to the middle of nowhere. Why are you not ready to guard Tobias Harris? It's transition defense. You get cross-matched all the time. You're standing in no man's land. Everybody's collapsing on Joel Embiid. That's wonderful, but he just picked his dribble up. He forced him into a tough fadeaway. So now everyone's got to get back to the, who they're guarding and box out. Like, look at Sadiq Bey right here in the corner. Why is Sadiq... Look at this. Well, how do you not have inside position on Kelly Oubre? How did... Easy offensive rebound. 
you're DeAndre Hunter and you want to go under this Tyrese Maxey ball screen, I got to fully be ready to go under. Like DeAndre Hunter's trying to go over this screen first. Well, now when you, by the time you get under, you're going to be about an hour late to when, look at Tyrese Maxey's already over the top of the screen. You haven't even started going under yet, right to the rim. Is quite frustrating here. The Hawks switch. So if you're DeAndre Hunter, you have nothing but help in the middle of the floor. Okay? Nothing but help. And DeJounte Murray is actually about to leave his man to come out to help you and basically double. So all I got to do is I can't backpedal. Got to get up and show your hands. DeAndre Hunter is going to do neither. He's going to, first of all, backpedal right here and look at his hands. You got your hands on Tyrese Maxey. You're not showing your hands. So now he can just step off you before the help even gets there. Nope, nope. This is Quinn Snyder being terrible. This is why the Hawks are awful. He'll get fired again. He's just garbage. You have to ice this screen here because I need backside help. DeJounte Murray's got to get up. Clint Capella's over, okay? Because now Bogdanovich is going to be standing and waiting in backside help. I cannot run drop coverage and just give Embiid the lane without any defender there. Look at, you're running drop coverage here. Stop. So you have no backside help. Sadiq Bey cannot leave the corner. So Joel Embiid just catching this on the run. How, did, how else was that going to end? Clint Capella, certainly when Joel Embiid is standing at the elbow, I must get, I'm never going to be able to b battle Joel Embiid standing straight up. I got to get low and I've got to initiate the contact. The low man's going to win here. But Clint Capella just stands. So now you let Joel Embiid catch this ball in the paint. So if he's catching this ball where he should have been, outside the free throw line, now Sadiq Bey can just drop and he can dig in the post and get in the gaps and help you and recover. But instead, Joel Embiid's going to be catching this right inside the paint here. So there's no time for that help to get there and you're done. The Hawks are in their reprehensible drop coverage here. So Bogdanovich gets in backside, comes all the way over to get on backside help on Joel Embiid, and he's going to actually be able to recover here. So if you're DeJounte Murray, you were guarding Tyre Tyrese Maxey here. You're fighting over the top of the screen. So once this ball gets swung, I got to stay with Tyrese Maxey. Capella is obviously going back to Joel Embiid. Look at DeJounte Murray here. What are you doing? So what was that?